Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing my October booktube shoutouts. So here are 10 channels in no particular order, they're just channels I've been really enjoying recently. They're all linked below, so I recommend checking them out if you get a chance. And without further ado, let's get started. So, in at number one we have Cats and Camera. It's kind of funny because I've pre-prepared this list, and at the time of filming, she's on my TV screen right behind where the camera is. Talking about The Outsiders by Essie Hinton, which she's just bought, and she's definitely going to enjoy it, I think. But yeah, she reads super wide variety of stuff. She's got some really good LBTQ uh, recommendations, some really good graphic novel recommendations, and um, she's just pretty switched on as well. So she's, she says it like it is, and uh, I trust her reviews. In at number two, we have It's Mikey's Mind. So big shout out to Mikey for his A to Z of literature series that he did recently. So I think it was throughout September, he did a bunch of videos covering each letter of the alphabet. In fact, I think he did cover The Outsiders for... Maybe, I don't know, H for S.E. Hinton or something. But yeah, that was a fantastic series. I watched every episode of it. And if you haven't seen it, I recommend go, going back and uh, watching it, for sure. At number three, we have Reading and Crafts. So this is who used to be Time for Books. And I believe she basically set up this new channel because she wanted to, uh, I guess, represent herself in a slightly different way because she was worried about people from her real life finding out about her channel. Um, so I just wanted to give her a shout out just to make sure people know that she's got that channel as well. And as it says, it's reading and crafts. Um, next we have Brad Proctor. So Brad is a relatively new discovery for me. He reads quite a lot of horror. I was watching him earlier do a review of Pet Cemetery, for example. And so, yeah, there's obviously some King fan crossover there for the two of us. I've also enjoyed a few of his uh, tag videos as well. And so far, just everything that I've watched that he's put out has been really thoughtful, really well constructed and just, you know, a pleasure to watch. So check him out. All right, then up next we have I Read Past My Bedtime, Nikki. And so one of the reasons I wanted to give her a shout out is she's working on like an introducing the author series. She's actually asked me to be in it, which was very kind of her. And I know a lot of people have volunteered and, you know, expressed their interest as well. So it's going to be a really good series to watch, uh, you know, to watch out for. I think she started with Savvy as well, who's got a great channel. So that was an interesting one to watch. And also just I love her videos and like her tags as well, you know. Up next we have Sean the Book Maniac, so I wanted to give Sean a shout out specifically because I've been really enjoying his uh, Sunday Sentence videos. In fact, I've kind of been thinking about making some myself, so let me know if you want me to do that. Uh, yeah, Sunday Sentence is basically a video he puts out on Sunday where he shares some of the highlights of his reading week in the form of some of the um, sentences that he really enjoyed. Up next we have Charles Heathcote, so Charles has been a good friend of mine for a while now, he's an author as well as a booktuber. I wanted to give him a shout out actually because he sent me Colourless Tsukusuku Tsukari and his Years of Pilgrimage by Haruki Murakami recently. And uh, I just read it and it was very good, so I enjoyed that. Uh, he's also, again, he's an author himself. He's got some uh, some Doris books out, which I highly recommend and I've reviewed in the past. And also uh, I was lucky enough to be asked to... Uh, to work on his secret project as well so keep your eyes peeled for that okay up next we have booktube goddess and this is a great channel because it's the only channel i know of that's uh, a drag theme channel but also some of the content ideas are great so uh, we were chatting recently because so i recently read some asimov and she's recently done i think like the top five female authors in sff or something like that and so um yeah so this is quite a cool to see our, our genre crossing over there as well but also just i mean it's something different you know and like i i embrace that as, as much as much different stuff as we can get on booktube more like animated channels i want to see people booktubing from space that'd be awesome okay up next we have written in blood this is again another relatively recent find for me and uh as you can probably tell from the title they tend to focus more on the horror side of things biggie please don't knock the camera down please don't knock the camera down thank you uh, and uh, yeah, they're a great channel to watch for, again, a nice mixture of the kind of stuff that I read. If you like the kind of stuff that I read, you'll like the kind of stuff that they read, for sure. And finally, we have Emma Rosen Books. So Emma is another one who is an author tuber and a booktuber. I actually have her book, Milk, to read, which I'll be getting to soon. And uh, I've also read uh, her children's book as well. There is a review coming soon with the reviews of both of them, so... Uh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that and also just check out her channel. She's got again some great content And she also plays in a band. I think she's a singer. So that's pretty cool in my book So there we have it. Those are my October booktube shout outs as always don't forget to let me know in the comments Which channels you've been enjoying recently. I'd love to check out some of your recommendations Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye